Hey, so today I'd like to show you all the process that we use to design our wedding albums. The software that we're using is called Pixelu Smart Albums, and we are exclusively using DreamBooks Pro as our album supplier. So to get started, we're going to open up Smart Albums and create a new project. We want to be sure to select the album company that we're going to use, as well as the desired album format and size. Now you can choose additional settings related to templates. We keep it to all templates, and then we'll give our project a place to live and name it accordingly. Smart Albums is then going to ask for images to be added to the project, so we'll select our folder of favorites and add those in so that we can get right to work. The very first thing we're going to do is sort by time taken, and this is going to put all of our images in chronological order. We typically start off our albums with either a hero image or a unique detail such as Julia and Anthony's custom newspaper article along with their wedding rings which we paired with a nice black and white to go along with the article. As we design we know the layout that we will typically end up with but we also will jump around a bit from different parts of the day so that we can get most of the images out there and then we'll move spreads around and insert images where we feel they may fit best. Smart Albums is really great in that it makes it so easy to rearrange spreads or move images around in just a matter of seconds. They also make it super convenient to convert color images to black and white with their own built-in presets, but of course you're free to edit outside of the application as well if you have your own that you prefer to use. Another great feature that comes in handy for us is the ability to change opacity within Smart Albums. We love to use an image full spread and overlay a related set on top, so dropping the opacity adds a nice creative touch allowing the smaller images to stand out just a bit more without taking away from that full spread. Another great feature within Smart Albums are the guides, and this is going to make it very easy to maintain consistent spacing between images and borders, and this takes out any unnecessary guesswork. When working on a particular spread with multiple images that may overlay each other, you have the option to right-click on those images and either bring to front or send to back. If you'd like, you can even add text to a spread directly through the app with many different font options available, so that's a nice feature to have as well. Although I'd recommend designing with images that are already color corrected, you may find it necessary at times to make some small local adjustments, such as adjusting brightness or contrast, and you'll have that ability to do that without leaving the app. You'll also be able to make adjustments to uh, things like angle and scale, and that can be very helpful in maintaining a clean look across all of your images on the same spread. The more time you spend using Smart Albums, the more efficient, of course, you will become putting together album designs. And over time, you'll get a great feel for what works best and what layouts match best with your style. It's important to keep in mind that there is no right or wrong way as long as your clients are happy. Now, when it comes time to put those family photo spreads together, as photographers, we can only do our best to guess which images should be a bit more prominent, but ultimately, this is where your client's feedback will be extremely helpful. We will always ask if they'd like for the order to be changed, and the app makes it extremely easy to communicate these changes both ways. For spreads where your images include negative space, you have the option, of course, to change the background color to create a different look and feel. Again, we make the initial creative decision on our side, and then we allow our clients the ability to change it if they'd like. Again, resizing images on the fly is so simple and utilizing the pre-built templates saves us so much time and often gives us inspiration to go ahead and make some custom layout changes. As I had previously mentioned, if you prefer to edit an image using your own set of Photoshop actions, you can do so by right-clicking that particular image in the spread and choosing Edit in Adobe Photoshop. You then make your changes and save. When you return to Smart Albums, you'll see the updated version. In the bottom right hand corner, you're going to see Spread Grid, and it's here where you can grab a particular spread and rearrange it within the album. You can also click on a thumbnail below and to view it larger, just hit the spacebar. On export, you can choose file format as well as whether to export a particular set of spreads or all spreads and how you'd like those spreads to be exported, for example, as one file which includes both left and right sides or single pages. The cloud proofing feature, in my opinion, is a no-brainer as it just makes the whole review process so easy and seamless. With cloud proofing, you'll be able to send a custom invitation to one or more people and also choose to CC yourself on that invitation as well if you'd like. So here we are just writing a personal message to our client before we send off the proof for review. 
And once that's all set, you're now ready to export. Once the proof has been sent out, we do have the ability to go into the design and leave comments specifically for our clients to see for particular images. So here we're asking if she would like to see this image instead in color or black and white. And for your clients, this is how they'll be presented with their album proof. They'll be able to flip through the album digitally and each image will be numbered so that they can leave a comment and easily reference that image in case changes are needed. Within Smart Albums, you'll see when spreads contain comments that have been unattended to or unresolved, which ensures that client feedback does not get overlooked. And as we can see, once Julia has gone in and reviewed the album, she does leave us a comment in response to our initial comment, which tells us how to proceed with the image. We'll make all necessary changes before we send the final proof for review, and once the client is happy with the proof, they can click Approve Album, send you a custom message giving you the green light to do your final export and submit for printing. Our clients are always in awe once they actually receive their albums, and that's thanks to both Pixlu Smart Albums and DreamLooks Pro. Here's a preview of the final product from this wedding. We hope this walkthrough has been helpful, and we hope you'll give Pixlu Smart Albums a try for your next album design. Thanks a lot. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on, I put my feet up, and we just sing along, and I can't help but feeling just loving. No